The Large Magellanic Cloud LMC, is a dwarf galaxy that is close to the Milky Way. The LMC and its neighbor, the Small Magellanic Cloud SMC, are so close to our galaxy that we can easily see individual stars and nebulas within them. Despite their relative proximity to us, the Magellanic Clouds remain full of mystery. Although the Magellanic Clouds are clearly visible to the naked eye as hazy patches of light in the Southern Hemisphere sky, they are always below the horizon in the Northern Hemisphere. So, when the early 16th century Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan set out with his fleet of five ships to circumnavigate the world, he and his fellow seamen were shocked to see the clouds rise above the horizon as they sailed into the southern Pacific. The clouds have been named after Magellan ever since, but he didn't discover them, they have been known to the indigenous populations of the southern hemisphere since antiquity. Using sea-feed variable stars, researchers calculated the distance to the large Magellanic cloud to be around 160,000 light-years away. That's a long way, but let's put it into context. The most distant globular clusters belonging to the Milky Way, such as NGC 2419, are as far as 300,000 light-years away, while the distance to the nearest spiral galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, is 2.6 million light-years away. The LMC is full of many of the types of objects we find in our own galaxy. Among its many stars are 60 globular clusters and 700 open clusters. It also features some huge star-forming regions, most notably, 30 Doradus, popularly known as the Tarantula Nebula. To give a sense of how impressive the Tarantula Nebula is, consider this. If it were as close to us as the Orion Nebula, the Tarantula Nebula would appear in our night sky as large as 60 full moons and would be so bright as to cast shadows. For many years, astronomers wondered whether the Magellanic Clouds are orbiting the Milky Way or whether they are just passing through and making their first close encounter with our galaxy. In 2007, they determined that both the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Small Magellanic Cloud are first-time visitors. Measurements of the velocities of both Magellanic Clouds through space show them to be surprisingly high, too fast to be gravitationally bound to the Milky Way. The Magellanic Stream was also thought to have formed during previous close orbits, but again, astronomers must seek another explanation. It seems that there are still many secrets to be revealed and stories to be told about our nearest galactic neighbor. Until we have those answers, just marvel at how lucky we are that these galaxies are passing so close just as humans happen to be alive. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.